What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the Welsh Way you're here with Aberystwyth Town. So here we are, we're at the Club World Cup Championships, we've got Pohang of the Asian Champions League winners, so uh, we've got that to look forward to. We've also, halfway through the season, just about in the league, we've also completed the group stages of the Champions League, so we've got quite a little bit to go through. So let's go into that, I don't think, uh, do I have transfers to go through? I honestly God don't remember when I last saw you. Um... No, I don't think that was. No, no, no. I believe, yeah, you know about these two guys. So, yeah, there's no transfer, no transfer to go through. But the league itself, we're currently 12 wins out of 12. We're looking like we're going to do a 100% season yet again. So, that is really good to see. Only conceded one goal all season long, and it was against Bala. And it was actually our ex-player who left for 250k, Liam Billing, who actually scored against us. So, <laughs> that's quite a weird thing to consider that, really, last season, if we were to look at all the goal scorers from this season, you know, one of them used to play for us. One of them came for our youth system. So that's not too bad to score against us. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the league has been going great. The league is typically amazing for us. Uh, TNS sort of struggling a little bit. But I've, I don't know if it's TNS struggling or just Bala sort of closing the gap. I think Bala have improved a lot over the past few years. And I now think they're competing with TNS for that second place spot. So that's good to see. You know, they're a little bit more of a competition. But to the fixtures itself, so last time I saw you off was the Stoke defeat, which was really disappointing, hugely disappointing to have lost that game. We should have, could have easily have won that. But following that on, we went on an incredible run of form, including you know a 6-0 victory over P Porto with five goals being scored by Liam Davis. We battered Porto. Uh, another defeat, an 8-0 victory over Preston. We beat Wolfsburg 2-1. Uh, you know, continued our undefeated streak in the league. A youngster for us, Tegrid, who, Tegrid, Tegid, sorry, who could be a potential maybe player for us in the future. I'm trying to develop this lad through. Uh, he's currently still in the youth squad because he's only 16, but he scored a hat trick in. He scored his first of a hat trick for the club, which is nice to see. Airbus we beat them 4 0. We beat Valencia 1 0. Afinlido beat 8 0 and 5 0 in the space of a few days. So that was good times for us. There was the Bala game where. Uh, Billings scored against us, the first goal we conceded in the league. Domestically, we've conceded a few goals in the cup, but that's not too much. You know, there's nothing really to worry about. Actually, something to point out again in this game, actually, we had to play a lot of sort of rotated players because um, because of international duties. We always have to do this. So that's why actually Tigard start they started that game, and it's why I ended up getting his hat trick, which is quite a good thing. Uh, we drew to Valencia, the only game that we've drawn in the Champions League so far, so. That was a good result. We won 9-1 in the Welsh Cup third round. 6-0, 6-0, 7-0 against Porto. This time, six different, five different sorry, goal scorers in another fantastic victory against Porto. And also, very recently, we beat Wolfsburg 5-3. So, we are on an incredible run of form. The Champions League groups, we finished top without a defeat. 23 goals scored, 6 goals conceded. Great Champions League run for us. I'd say, based on some of these games as well and some of the performances, I'd put us as favourites to win this competition again. Uh, we are just on form so far. Uh, players so far as well, people are just playing consistently well. Lloyd is playing great. Jose is doing incredible as well. Watts has taken a step up to playing first-team football really well. Um, Morgan's been playing a few more games. I see him as maybe a future backup player for Wells. Number one, if I were to be manager, of course that is. So I'm trying to play Morgan a little bit more. So it's good to see that he's, he's doing well when called upon. Uh, Sommers has, has been playing great. He's actually now forced Lloyd, not Lloyd, sorry. He's actually forced Lewis out of the team. Where is Emil Lewis? Uh, yeah, he's forced him out of the team actually at the starting 11 because he's been playing so well. Been playing him up front. Eight goals in the, nine goals in the league in eight appearances. Not only that though, in the Cups, eight goals in the Champions League. He scored three goals in three starts with four assists. He's been playing incredibly well so far, so Sommers is actually now a starting player for us, which is overall what would have been the ideal goal, but it's been working really well. And also a little bit of transfer news to talk about. We are selling Ross Fitzpatrick in January. His contract was expiring at the end of the season, so I offered him to clubs, and in the end, uh, well, oh, well, sorry, West Ham ended up coming back saying, 400k, we'll take him off your hands. I thought, well, he's either going to leave at the end of the season on a free, or I can sell him now. So I sold him now. He's joining West Ham 400k. Uh, just Anna hasn't played this season really apart from one cup game where he got three assists. Because really, if he's not going to be here, I don't really want to play him. But not a bad player. It's just really now, because I'm really focusing on Wales and want to drive home the Wales thing, Fitzpatrick is someone that sort of had to sacrifice his position in the squad for that. So 
in the end he'll be leaving the club. But not a bad one year of us really. Anyway, to this Club World Cup Championships. For those who don't know, in this competition you can only register 23 players. So really that's you know a starting 11, a backup 11, plus an additional goalkeeper, which is what I decided to do. So the squad is all here. It's actually all substituted up and things like that. We'll have to sort out the actual seven subs in a second. But this, is, this was the squad I ended up going with. Uh, a few p key people to miss out were Pedroza, who picked up, I think, a three-month in three injury. What was it for? A tall hamstring, I think it's three months, it may be two now, it may have been, you know, a little bit quicker recovery as first predicted. But he missed out on the squad because of that injury, so in the end, uh, Danny Fish ended up coming into the squad and he'll be playing today. Uh, but apart from that, I wouldn't say anyone else on, you know, from these players unregistered would have been in the team if they were fit. So, I'm happy with that. But yeah, we've got interesting times coming up. Let's continue forward and, oh, I thought I was there. Come on, match preview, there we go. Let's continue forward and get this thing. So we're going to put sort of the bench quickly. We are going to put... Uh, who's more match fit? 100%. Are you 100%? You are. So it doesn't make a difference there. We're going to put Jose on the bench. We are going to put... Who's more match fit? I think everyone should be 100% anyway. Uh, you looking a little bit tired. So yeah, we're going to put Inaki on the bench. Uh, we are going to put... Uh, Wilson or Templeton? I think we're going to put Wilson on the bench. Along with Lewis, and also we are going to put Davis and Sommers. Actually, we're going to put Bowen on the bench because Sommers can play centre mid, or would be a centre mid option. So the reason behind and the thinking behind this centre back roles, not the centre back, sorry, the, the starting eleven for this game, as you can quite literally see, it's quite a rotated squad, a lot of second choice players playing, is because uh, in this club uh, World Cup Championship there are. The games are played thick and fast. If I go on the schedule, you'll see that the semi-final is being played today. Uh, yeah, this is the... Wait. Yeah, we're on the 12th currently. And the final will be played on the 15th. So it's only two days rest. So what I decided was I think we're good enough to beat Pohang. I think the second team should be good enough to beat Pohang. So I'm going to play the second team today. Which means the starting 11 and actually our first choice goalkeeper, Lloyd. So starting 11 for today will be Lloyd in goal. Uh, Stephen Drake right back. Dath Dathid, I'm oh, sorry, I want to say this wrong, right, Dathid, with a TH, at <laughs> left back, Love Grover and McNaughton in the centre back roles, Jenkins right back, Wilding left mid, I mean Jenkins right mid, sorry, Wilding left mid, centre mid of Halpin and Fish, and up front we have Wallace and Lewis, so that should be a strong enough team to win this for us, it sh should be a strong enough team to put us through to the final, I mean if it doesn't I'm going to be so annoyed, but I don't really think the Asian football can compete with European football, and um. I'm going to say expect us to come out as finalists because I do. Really, we should be beating these guys. Really, we should be winning this competition and getting our first piece of silverware of the season. So let's see how we go. Straight away, we're the ones on the attack, only 20 seconds. And, you know, we've got the ball in their half. Oh, shame no highlight could come with that. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Because uh, I've never actually played against South American Asian teams with this team. It's sort of going into the unknown, but... I still feel we're favourites to win this tournament. Again, maybe odds don't actually see that because the reputation isn't maybe the biggest, but surely surely we should win this. Surely. As Lewis is down that left-hand side, whipping this one in. Ah, unable to find Wallace or Jenkins at the far post. But we've got the ball again. Oh, no. Pohan could be on the attack. Oh, brilliant tackle. And now we could create an attack from this ourselves. As Wilding out to Fish. Whipped this one in. Oh, we've got a penalty. Who takes his penalties again? I actually forgot. Is it... Who is that? Is that... I don't know who's walking up. It is Wilding. Wilding stepping up. Wilding gives us the lead. 24 minutes in. 1-0 lead. I think we're through to the final. I don't really see... They're actually playing pretty well against us, Pohang. But I wouldn't really see them scoring or causing us too much trouble. Let's just, you know, fingers crossed on that situation there. If not, we've got... You know, better players on the bench who can come on. Liam Davis, Sommers, you know, we've got really good attacking players, if need be. Or even good defensive players, you know, Jose, Hinaki, we've got them all on the bench. But let's see if we can get a second goal. A second goal will definitely calm my nerves because I still could see Pohang scoring as Wilding with the ball. On that left-hand side yet again, will he whip this one in? He gets fish and it is Lewis, but he's offside. Just a little bit ahead of his, of the last man. Real shame there, but Fish looking very good, getting that header uh, header in. 
Danny Fish was the guy we signed. He may be like 21, 22, I think he is. But he's, we've sort of signed him to see if he can develop into a, a decent player, a half-decent player. We'll see how he goes. He's played a few more games this season than I originally intended. But that's fine, you know, that's, that's, an, that's an all right thing to have. Happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. Um, you're in a yellow. I don't really know if I can trust you. So we're going to bring Wilson on and play him for 45 minutes. The second 45 minutes as well, where surely the Pohang players will get a little bit more tired because I think they've played a game already in this tournament and then we should find a little bit, a few, a few more gaps and Wilson with his quality should be able to, you know, capitalise on that and plus, you know, set-piece man as well. We're on the attack. Fish once more out wide to Wilson. Wilson with the goal. Stephen Wilson. That's why he brought him on. Great pass by Fish as well to see the run. I think, I don't know what was happening out on the right for Pohang. There was just no one out there, but... Wilson found the space. Look at that. No one in front of him. Absolutely no one. The, the fullbacks pushed too high up the pitch. And then here, yeah, Wilson's found the space and a great finish as well. Far post. Great goal. 2 0. And I think we're going to make one more change as well. Uh, we're going to actually make a few, maybe one or two. I don't know. We're going to bring Sommers on. And um, yeah, we're gonna, we'll make that. We'll, this will be our subs. Lewis not having a good game. We'll just give Sommers the last 15 minutes of the match. Or did I. Yeah, did I not make that sub? He's only going to get 10 minutes now. But we gave him the last 10. Oh, no. Who's injured? Oh, no. Wilson is injured. All right. Bowen on. Helping that on the left. Bowen ends the game up on the pitch. Stupid Pohang. How can you injure Wilson? Let's hope it's not anything serious. You know, hope, let's hope it's not actually something that will keep him out of the next match. But, ah, man. So annoying because he's going to be crucial as well. For the, I hope it's not a long-term injury either because we sort of need him for these Champions League games and things like that. In the league, I would like to play him in the league if I could. Mm, stupid Pohang. Hey, as they missed the last chance of the game. Actually, how many minutes are they on? Four minutes. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, they missed the last. Anyway, real opportunity of the game. They could have scored. They've had two click opportunities, four half chances. They presented enough. Sorry about that, guys. I actually hit the stop recording button. But anyway, I said they presented enough of a threat to, you know, get a result out of this game. But in the end of the day, they haven't taken their opportunities. And that just shows a little bit of the golfing class because we've taken the opportunities they haven't. But 2 0 we win on the day here in, I think it's Morocco, is being held. Uh, congratulations, lads. Delighted you've got through to the final. None of you guys, apart from Lloyd, will actually play in the final who started today. But still, well done, lads. Well done. Let's find out who we got. I think we're going to get Chivas. Chivas, actually, sorry. So that'll be an interesting match to see how we go. The Mexican team. Let's just make sure. Oh, wow. We actually got near a million for winning that. I didn't actually think there was much prize money. I sent the assistant there. Um... Chris Coleman and in there watching out watching the second team the the new generation maybe the Welsh players a few of them in there but there you go we are gonna play oh no we're gonna play San oh no we're sorry we're not playing the North American that was the fifth place playoff sorry that was I'm looking at the wrong thing San Lorenzo we're gonna play hmm never actually really heard of these guys before and looking at you know how it's gone and stuff they're not exactly an incredible team in the league they but they somehow won the <laughs> they somehow won the South American Champions League. That'll be interesting to play. So I'll meet you guys back in a second for that actual live com. Alright guys, so San Lorenzo, let's get into this. Starting 11 is back to what I would call, you know, the normal start, starting 11. Maybe with that, you know, Pedroza, but still Di Lewis is there. So team for today will be Lloyd in goal, Ferreira right back, Jose Watts centre back. Inaki at left back, Templeton right mid, Wilson left mid, centre mid to Bowen and Di Lewis. And up front we have Davis and Sommers. And Wilson didn't pick up an injury for, two, for you know, at all really actually. I think he just had to come off the game, come off the pitch because he picked up a knock. But yeah, so Wilson is able to play which is a great plus. And the bench is Morgan, McNaughton, Dathid, Jenkins, Halpin, Wallace and Lewis. So let's go out there today. I'm pretty confident we can win this game. I think the assistant actually before the game, because I just let him do the, into, do the press conferences and stuff, he said he was going to shut up shop, and I was like, what? <laughs> We're going to go out there and try and win, mate. Although we do play counter, so realistically he's probably saying that correctly. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's do that. And let's see how we go. We are favourites today, as it just said up there. And... Realistically, if we don't win this, there's something seriously wrong with us because <laughs> European football is meant to be the best football in the world. If you don't win it, 
you know, you, you clearly weren't playing well enough and there's something wrong. As I say, you had a bad performance. But I don't think that'll happen today. Hopefully that won't occur. We've got the best team out we can possibly field. And I'm confident that it will be enough to, you know, get us over the line and win us our first trophy and maybe even help us win five trophies this season as it is Di Lewis to score the first ever goal for a Welsh team in the Club World Cup Championship final. Di Lewis with that goal. Wilson seeing the run beautifully and Lewis on his left foot smashing this one in. Keeper could have done a lot better for them. Again, someone could have tracked the run. But in the end of the day, great run by Lewis. Great finish. 1-0 to us. And... I say one hand on that title, or trophy, or cup, whatever, you know, shield, whatever they get in this. I actually don't remember. Uh, I think it's a trophy. But oh my god. <laughs> What's Ferreira just done? What? I can't believe that. I honestly god can't believe that he's just done that. He's just... Oh. It, di it didn't even hit him. I mean, he didn't even do anything. He just sort of let the ball hit him. He didn't even move. He didn't header it. Uh, but Liam Davis... Oh, I was going to say, Liam Davis gets us back in the game straight away. Well, he wasn't able to do that. But wow, what an odd goal to concede. And also, I hate it when FM says that isn't an own goal. If you're going to put my player's name on there, you've got to say that it was an own goal. I'm sorry. He hasn't gone and scored for the other team. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't gone and played for the other team and scored. Because he quite literally has to score for the other team, like a little bit of a knobhead. But anyway, 1-1 one, one still. Not playing particularly well, though. Not a lot of the ball, which is quite strange, especially looking at our Champions League group stage games. I think, you know, where would I compare this team? Surely they'd be around the same level as Porto or something, but maybe I'm just underestimating South American football. I don't know. Our players aren't playing well, though. Jose, Jose isn't. Davis isn't. Come on. We should be whooping these people, you know. We should be at least two goals advantage right now. Maybe even pushing for four to five come the end of the game. We just need to start, you know, putting our fingers out and going out and actually playing the game. God, 20 minutes left. I, is there extra time and penalties in this? I actually don't remember. I actually have no idea, but we're going to make some changes now. We're going to take Liam Davis on, bring Thomas Wallace on. Uh, we are going to take Templeton off and bring Terry Jenkins on and we'll make them two substitutes. Ferreira's injured, Jose's not playing well, but I don't think I can afford a defensive substitution right now as it's Bowen with the goal. David Bowen. I was thinking maybe I was going to take him off when I made them subs there, but in the end, you know, <laughs> I use my better judgment and it, it paid off as Wallace with the sort of flick on, nod on, trying to find Jose. It doesn't pay off, but in the end, Bowen gets the bobble around, get the ball, gets the ball bobbling around in the box and fires that one home. So 2-1, we finally get that goal. Maybe I'll make the defensive sub now. Uh, who do I play goal? The centre-back. We're going to bring McNaughton on. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we won't concede in that time. I'm making that sub. Oh, die, Lewis. Don't lunge in. You might get sent off, please. Ferreira with that knock. I don't know. Uh, I don't really like him having a knock injured. He's not playing particularly well. He's just let the defender, the attacker run through him there. Is there on the attack, San Lorenzo? Oh, are you joking me? Cancel that sub. Oh, fuck. Come on, what is this? Attacking. Screw it, we're going to go 90 minute win here. Um. No, we'll keep Summers on again. For now. Last, maybe five, I might bring uh, Lewis on, M.A. Lewis. But Di Lewis on the attack, come on, get a goal straight away from this kickoff, please. Wilson down that left-hand side. Oh, why didn't he whip it in? Trying to repeat the goal from the first game, but he should just look to whip that one, drill it across the box, and hope someone got a toe on it. Sommers off the pitch. Lewis on. I don't know even if there's extra time, but I don't care right now. We're trying to win this in 90 minutes. The attackers aren't looking confident enough and aren't playing well. They've got to come off no matter, you know, even if they have scored loads of goals in the past for us. It's Jenkins! Oh my god. Oh, but Di Lewis has ended up getting it in. I was going to say Di Lewis has missed it, but Di Lewis ended up getting it in. 3 2. Got to go back to our counter mentality. Di Lewis with the goal. It was Jenkins on the right hand side. The substitute whipping this one in. Di Lewis misses the opportunity. Falls to Emmy Lewis, but he's tackled. And in the end, it somehow falls back to Di Lewis and he smashes that one in. Fantastic goal. 3 2 on the day. Just need to hold this off now. We can't concede again. I mean, if we do, uh, I wonder if we even deserve the trophy. 
No. <laughs> Lloyd with the save this time. He's the captain today. He'll be lifting his first trophy as captain of the team. All right, this should be it. We should be able to see this one out now. I don't see them scoring again. Again, if they do, do we deserve the trophy? You know, falling, you know, taking the lead on three occasions and allowing them to peg back on three occasions isn't really title-winning worthy teams. Isn't really a title-winning worthy team, I should say. We win it on the day, 3-2. Won the Club World Cup Championship. Great performance, not aggressively. Come on. <laughs> Uh, let's do this calmly though. Congratulations, lads. I'm happy with the performance. Not the performance. I should say the performance bit because I'm not happy with the performance. But we won it on the day. Either way, you know, not the cleanest of wins, but it's still a win is a win. 3-2. We celebrate our first ever Club World Cup Championship. The border happy. Hunter declares proud day for fans. The first Welsh team to win the Club World Cup Championships. That's for certain. That is for sure. We're the biggest overachievers. I mean, come on. We're a European team. We should have won it anyway. Um, Danny Fish come the highest with his assists. He's two in that one game. Pick up 3.22 million, which is a nice little bit of money to pick up for two games, really. Helps us with the finances a little bit, even though we don't really need help there. And also, when we go on our history now, one Club World Championship, one Club World Cup Championship. So, yeah, that's great. That is really good. So, next time I'll meet you back will probably and hopefully be a Champions League semi-final. If not, I'll do an end-of-season update because we wouldn't have won the Champions League, which would be a shame. I would like to retain that trophy, but yeah. One trophy down, we've still got four more to possibly go. I really see us winning the three domestically, so it's just that one, that Champions League. Will we be able to retain it? That is the big question. But until then, guys, peace out.